I am with Stephanie, one of my uh, great girlfriends, and we are at the airport right now, and we are headed to Anchorage to the best of Alaska and all there is to know about the yeah. pronouncing it? Mm -hmm. Glacier. From yep, we're gonna go glacier hiking. It is full advanced, advanced, advanced trek. Yes, <laughs> for for uh, pros. Um, it is four something in the morning. Stephanie went to bed at midnight. I went to bed at 2.15 and woke up at 3.20. So, um, it's going to be an adventure, as always, and excited to spend time together. <laughs> we'll see you from the road. Coffee time. <laughs> Get ready to take off to Anchorage. See you when we land. We are in the Anchorage airport, and these are supposed to simulate the northern lights that you see. Good morning. We just um, pulled up. We're going to get geared up in a minute and we're going to go hike the glacier. You can see a mountain behind us and the glacier's kind of um, down in that crevice and there's glacier and ice all around. So we're just got checked in and we freshened up and we're ready to go. Yeah, it's only us. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's our own private hike, trek, climb. Okay. Climb. Guided, guided climb. Advanced. 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 Yes. <laughs> I hope Stephanie doesn't kill me. All right. Are you doing this? Yeah. All continued. Right. We'll see you on the glacier. It's a um, non-Newtonian thixotropic mud, so the viscosity of it changes depending on the energy you put upon it. <laughs> so a lot of it appears to be a solid, and uh -huh. it can go down. And then if you shake it, it turns into a liquid. Ooh, that'd be that'd cool. kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of like a biology drink out here. <laughs> yeah, it is. We're all biology drink. Oh, you are. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> medial moraine which uh, runs through the middle of this glacier because uh, there's two glaciers that come together that scrape this middle mountain and has pushed moraine mm. in the middle. Mm. So they see it retract a lot in here. The glacier? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot. And it's pushed glacier and it's floating around. Mm -hmm. See, um, when I was in Seward, we had a little, little hike up to this um, glacier that was there. But Uh, 
All right. So right over here, uh, just northeast of what you're looking at, we have an old uh, evidence of a moulin, which is the formation of water carving it out. Moulin being a French word for mill. And uh, pretty massive. You can see on the far side, the water's still draining right over there. Uh, but I haven't seen one this big since about 2016 on the Snowbird Glacier. And a lot of these are a lot smaller in this region of this glacier, but this one is a pretty, pretty massive one. It's a Moulin. So how long will that be until it disappears? You know, it's until this sinks down. Until the surface of the glacier um, sinks down, yeah. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think? So cool! <laughs> All right. Any any other words to say? Uh, oh, that's nope. We're living our best life, and we'll see you guys soon. Preach it. All right. <laughs> Got to turn it off with the mood. guys we are recording from inside a glacier ice cave this is so freaking awesome um, I will show you guys kind of what we're looking at but oh my gosh this is so beautiful um, our guide Lacey freaking amazing <laughs> what up yeah hi having fun having a great day and it's really just getting started so, Lacey has been wonderful. Steph and I are in this ice cave. It is so beautiful. So, we still have a lot more to hike and a lot more to do. So, we will. What makes it 
So this there. is evidence of an old Mulan. So you know that oh. big hole that we saw? This is similar. The Mulan, the water's carved it out. You know, water takes the most re re least resistant way to a slowest point of gravity. Like in a city, the water drainage. Um, and a lot of this water, well, some of the water goes down to the bottom of the glacier and works as lubrication. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell them to come back in. Uh, it works as lubrication to help the glacier slide down the bedrock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and a lot of it you see in that water, the rivers, all that water by mm. the dirt zone. <coughs> yeah. Oh, it's cute. That's righteous. Hold on, work it, work it. We are on the glacier. We just, well, we've been on the glacier. Uh, we just got our crampos on, and I think the real work is about to begin. Um, it's a little bit windy, but otherwise, a gorgeous day. Enjoying it, definitely um, breathtaking views. So, this is what I am seeing right now. What you're seeing, too. Isn't that gorgeous? So, uh, we're gonna get going. See ya. Okay, we are going to be climbing this. Bree and I. Shoes. We can duck walk or tiptoe up. Alright, how much feeling There's Bree getting ready to climb. No. Like what happens with the rope really you know, <laughs> we'll see you dangle. Yeah, all right, Bree. Bree is doing the duck walk technique. Something. All right, she made it look right, easy. Look like All right. Thank you. <laughs> um, in marginal ice. So uh -huh. each one is 10 kilonewtons. One kilonewton is about 224.8 pounds. Times that by 10. Two screws. Um, oh, 20 kilonewtons. Looks like it popped right up. You think you want to try and uh, have an extra? Try and lift it. Try and pull it out. Nice. You know, it's weird to like think about who figured this stuff out because you know it's not like they figured it out the first try. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Hello. We're up higher on the glacier. There's Steph in the background. <laughs> There's Lacey. And we're going to check out some crevices. 
sun shining. Having an awesome day. Hope everyone's living their best life. Yeah. Okay, I was so nervous I stopped recording, but I'm leaning into a crevice. That's it's pretty deep, and I'm definitely lean back into a glacier. My heart's racing. Okay. It's really awesome. It's really pretty. Steph is about to go hanging over here. Uh, Travis. We show off. Ooh, look at that booty. Woo! All right, come on up. Good job, Seth. We are still on top of the glacier. We are about to get lower down into a different hole. Different region of the ice. Different region of the ice. And I'm not sure if you can see, but it is raining. So we're kind of bundled back up on the ice. Well, no, we're not sure we'll be able to get off the glacier. <laughs> we might get frozen on the glacier. <laughs> well, we've got one granola bar between the three of us. Oh, see? Please, he's prepared. If anyone comes to Matnuska, ask for Lacey, and you do the glacier trek, ask for Lacey. She's freaking awesome, amazing, super cool, puts up with my crap, really puts up with Stephanie's crap. Yeah. <laughs> and she has not dropped us off a glacier yet, but we're not done. Not done yet. Guys, <laughs> check that out. I'm on the edge again, lean over a glacier into a deep, dark hole. Awesome. I'm less scared this time, a little less shaky. All right, so it doesn't look like much, but that is what I just hiked down backwards. The ice is so freaking hard. You can't get your spikes in. 
excuse me, your glam ponds in. And it is steep, you guys. It is so steep. You have to like lean way back so all your weight is on a rope, which to me is just scary. So you can tell I'm a little bit out of breath. This is definitely a workout, but check out that water. It is so blue. Reminds me of Croatia. It's just gorgeous here. Here comes Stephanie. She looks like she's a better dog than me. Stephanie, you're doing great. Well, you're like cruising. You're doing much better than I was. Man, Stephanie took this like a champion. Stephanie. Are you on? Yeah, it's super hard with those. How do you feel, Steph? <laughs> Lacey, how do you feel? Yeah. How do you feel? Awesome. Yeah, look at this awesome guy. Woo, woo. Rain's not going to stop us. Heck no. <laughs> All right. Glacier update. We're still hiking. There's some other people. Give you a quick view. It's still raining. All right, onward we must go. All right, we just got back to our um, site. We had an amazing, amazing day. Awesome pictures, awesome footage. Holy moly, I'm so tired. I can't remember if I told you guys or not, but I slept one hour yesterday. So I'm a bit beat, but this was freaking amazing. This is Mica Tours at the Matanuska Glacier. It's a glacier behind me, some mountains. And you can't really see the glacier. Um, it's sunny and it's raining, which is why I've got my hood on and look pretty gangsta. Um, but that's it. We're going to find some food and oh my gosh, lay it down. So we will uh, see you later. <coughs> oh man. Hey, we've had such a long day. Get ready to hit the sack, but we survived the glacier. Got a ton of pictures, a ton of photos, had a really awesome experience. Two hours of sleep. Yes, two hours of sleep. Two hours of sleep. <laughs> Stephanie was a trooper and drove us back and forth, and that's it. So she's going to try and make me go to the village tomorrow, and I'm going <laughs> to put up a really good fight. The rack. The rack I'll go to. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. <laughs> Boxing gloves? I know. Oh, God. <laughs> so Tracy did.
this. <laughs> All right, so good night, everyone. I hope everyone had an excellent day and you're living your best life. Good night from Anchorage. Hey, everyone. I am in Anchorage still. I'm at Moose's Tooth with my friend Michelle, who I've known for a long time. 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> she lives in Anchorage, so came to Moose's Tooth, which was one of my favorite restaurants when I lived here, and kind of bummed out because we don't have enough time to eat. But at least we're here. Got a growler. Yep, got a growler. <laughs> I got to see you. I know. It was literally for like 10 minutes. We met at Norse Drap, then came here, and now we're going to the airport. So that's it. Bye. Bye. Take care. I hope you guys enjoyed your day with us on the Matanuska Glacier. Thank you so much for watching my videos and please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you guys soon.